the rising of cycling in Rwanda is due to the efforts we made to, to detect talents. Because as you know, we have many, many talents in, on those hills of Rwanda. And uh, the configuration of this country with the hills gives the opportunity to our young people to, to train and to become professionals in cycling. Uh, so we, we tried with the efforts made by the clubs, made by uh, uh, our supporters, uh, like uh, some American who came to support us to give us um, some experience on how to detect uh, talented riders. So all those efforts uh, made us uh, to become one of the most powerful countries in cycling in Africa. Uh, and now, uh, like you said, uh, you are one of the best countries in cycling in Africa and uh, it is gradually gaining ground and uh, overtaking football as the most loved sports in this country. Uh, but most people are saying it is not as valued as other disciplines uh, when it comes to financial support especially. So what do you think about that? Yeah, it's true, you are right. Uh, it's not uh, as valued as uh, other sports because it's, it's, it's like a new sport. Uh, it, it will take time to some people, some maybe local leaders to introduce cycling in the, those sports that they support. So we have started to approach them, to encourage them, to see that, uh, to understand that there are uh, many talents, there are, we have many chances to, to, to raise good riders, um, even more than other sports. So I think it, uh, it will become uh, slowly, slowly they will understand and uh, I think Rwanda has been organizing the Tour de Rwanda and uh, has successfully hosted the Africa Continental Road Championship two times. Uh, now, what plans do you have? Do you have plans like to host bigger competitions like the UCI Road World Championship? Yes, we have proved that we are capable to organize international races. As you know, since 10 years, we organized the Tour of Rwanda. It is one of the most uh, well-organized races in Africa. We have organized two African championships. Why not the world championships that uh, Africa didn't yet hold uh, until now? So uh, as the new president of International Cycling Union promised to Africa to organize during his term. So we are among those who want to, to candidate for that. Mm -hmm. So when exactly are you planning to bid for that? I think the, the good year uh, to organize for us is 2025. Uh, we have expressed our interest to organize it uh, uh, to the International Cycling Union. So we still have to discuss with them what, is the, what are the requirements. And I think uh, also we have talked to the Minister of Sports. I think all those who uh, are concerned are interested for Rwanda to organize. Do you think Rwanda is in the right position to make history and host the competition for the first time on the continent? What is driving your hope that you are going to be the first country to achieve that? What is driving our hope is our reputation of good organizers, like uh, we organize, uh, like I said, to, to the Rwanda African Championships, and all those people who participated say that we are the best organizers. <laughs> so we, we, are, we base everything on the, the appreciations from those who come here when we organize international races. Uh, now, uh, what benefits do you think this has to offer uh, that is pushing you, your interest to host this? Sportively speaking, it's, a, it's good to, to bring all the, the best riders of the world here. 
also uh, it's good for the image of the country you know uh, the world championships brings uh, um, 5,000 staff, 1,000 riders, 700 journalists, and more than 25,000 supporters. So all those people will bring here uh, many things, money for maybe staying here, they will rent cars, they will stay in hotels, they will... So I think it's, it's, it's a very huge opportunity for the country to also to gain money. <laughs> All right. Uh, now uh, I want us to talk about something that has been trending globally. Uh, Rwanda's uh, representatives in the recently concluded Commonwealth Games that went missing uh, what, what is your thought, what has been your reaction on, on that news? It's not only Rwandans who, who disappeared, there are different nationalities who disappeared. You know, when they go there, they some have other ideas. Uh, it's, a, it's, it's, a, it's a normal exercise that uh, exists in when uh, people go to, to compete in, in in such high level competitions. So I, I, I don't have any comment rather than to say that, uh, okay, it's, it's not good for, for our image, but uh, you know, disappearance also uh, come from, even f some people from Asia, even f some people from Europe. I can say that it's not uh, a, new, a new thing uh, fortunately, there is no disappearance from cycling.